Well, sometimes you just, I can't come up with the words to say. I don't know what to say right now. That's, uh, um, I don't know. I don't know what to say. Good gracious alive, boy. Man. Hey there, it's Pete with GCI Turf. Hope you're having a great day today. And uh, first of all, I know a lot of you watch me routinely and I'm hoping the color of the video is better and different. Uh, I bought me one of those new GoPro 9s and I've done a lot of homework on how to set the color and all that kind of thing. So hopefully it looks different compared to my older videos. I have no clue until I get in my office and start editing. So got my fingers crossed on that. For those of you that are new, this is Bermuda. Okay, this is all Bermuda grass. And we've kind of got a split right down the middle, somewhere about right here. And from here over is overseeded with rye, perennial rye. And from here over is overseeded with Kentucky bluegrass. Why in the world are you doing it? Well, that's simple. Bermuda turns paper sack brown during the winter. When that first frost hits it, it shuts down and goes dormant, wakes back up the following spring. I do not want to look at a brown yard. So my remedy for that was to overseed with cool season turf. And of course, I could have done the whole thing in rye, but I wanted to do a little experiment because I've got the opportunity to do so. The rye will stay here throughout the winter, early spring. Once it's time for the Bermuda to wake up, we'll smoke off the rye grass and wake the Bermuda back up. Over here with the Kentucky bluegrass, we're not gonna do anything. We're gonna leave the bluegrass here and let the two, the Bermuda and the Kentucky blue, coincide and live together and see how that works. I got good hopes for this, you know, and the reason for this right here is Kentucky Blue, for the most part, is a darker green turf than Bermuda. And so by blending in some Kentucky Bluegrass with the Bermuda, my thought process is the overall look will be a darker turf. Now, you know, I did the same concept with my yard. I've got turf type tall fescue at my house and it's a really, really dark green grass, but when I introduced that little bit of Kentucky bluegrass in there, it dramatically changed the overall color. Of course, up close, you can't really tell a huge difference, but when you get back a little ways and you get a, get a broad overall view, my yard is considerably darker now that I have the bluegrass mixed in with the fescue. So that Alec mower actually has a roller built into it. You know, I, I'm a big fan of the big league lawn roller and their rollers will fit just about any mower out there. You hook it up and you start mowing your grass. Now, obviously you gotta have a turf that stripes and rye grass is in my opinion, hands down the hardest striping turf there is. I mean, look at that. Look, look at the contrast. Look at how much darker and lighter those contrasts are. My yard stripes up incredibly hard. I mean, super hard, but it's still a little bit behind this right here. This is off the chain. So you obviously, you gotta have a turf that's gonna stripe and that's majority of your cool season turf grasses are going to stripe pretty good, some better than the other. I've already showed you that Bermuda grass will stripe like a champion. You watched me do the entire process out here start to finish. And once I started mowing, man, the stripes were glowing like a new penny. That was with straight 100% Bermuda. Striping's really easy. All you're doing is you're tilting the turf one way and then you come around the down beside it and tilt the turf the other way. It's really that simple. And you're relying on that sun and the way the sun rays reflect off of that tilted turf. And that's what gives you this appearance right here. So stinking cool. I'm telling you this triple double single looks really cool. And, and it's not hard to do this. Typically you would mow down and come right back 
and you would alternate your colors oh man look at my footprints i done putting those pretty stripes holy cow but this time i made three passes one way two passes one way one pass two pass three passes two one two three and so on so that gives me an illusion of a thicker line and a medium line and a thin line medium thick so you can see i've kind of got it symmetrically uh out here to where it kind of flows together and it actually has some type of a pattern to it three two one two three two one two three two one two and of course i run out of grass over there and hey i know not everybody likes stripes in the yard completely fine you never hear the argument from me that you have to have stripes for your grass to look good i don't care if you stripe your yard or not i could care less what you do with it i want it to be nice though that's why i do what i do but there are folks out there that thrive on this kind of stuff and i'm one of them i absolutely thrive on the patterns i can put in the yard i can use my creativity god gave me and create something that's really cool so i'm going to give you a heads up what we're going to do next i've got my Allet up uplift 86 and i'm going to bring it out here and we're going to cross this up uh, the same pattern the triple double single that's going to create a very unique look and what that's going to be is you're going to have massive boxes of one color and smaller boxes of another color and so on and they'll be kind of peppered throughout and you know you watch baseball on tv and you watch like maybe the world soccer cup is that what you call that i don't watch soccer so i don't know but those really high-end athletic playing fields those are really cool because those guys get out there and put these really wild looking patterns in there and i personally am trying to mimic that in my front yard so i think it's pretty cool and again i know not everybody likes it and i'm completely okay with that say so, i appreciate you watching thank you for taking time out of your day uh can't wait to show you that next video but right now I'll check you later